understand was it in, in 2012, you, you got shot in the face. Right, right. Well, I got shot in the back of the head and <gasps> the neck, you know what I mean, the shoulder. Yeah, I ain't get hit in the face, but that shit, it, it like went all the way up in here and was stuck in my throat. I had that shit in my neck for like a year and a half, you know what I mean? My, my but I was still, I was still, I, I was still doing my thing in the, in the booth, you know what I mean? You know who yeah. that is? Who's that, Devon? Yo, that's Conway, bro. Woo! Conway, Conway and West Side Gun, man. Talk, talk about Conway, man. Yo, Conway is one of those motherfuckers. That's a real street dude, man. Like, you know, I got put on by Kanye, Conway. Fuck, I don't even know how I came across this dude's music. I think I was listening to uh, West Side Gun, mm -hmm. but there was a song. Yo, those niggas. Yo, those are <laughs> honestly those are. You remember MOP? Yeah, of course. Okay, well, yo, shout out to MOP, man. Those dudes remind me of some fucking MOP. Yeah, grimy. Fucking New York niggas would just fuck a nigga up. Yo, I can't. And the reason why I love these guys so much is mm. because they just don't give a fuck. Nah, at all. If you can name your album after Adolf Hitler <laughs> and have a picture of that motherfucker on your on the cover, that is ballsy. Yeah. And it just proves the point that anything goes in the hip hop game right now. Facts. But you know, shout out to Conway. Like, yo, I love to do a track with Conway. He's a beast, man. He's super he's just, lyrical, just, man. But, it, but it, he's super lyrical, but his delivery and the way he kind of lays back in the beat, he doesn't mm -hmm. go super hard aggressive on it, mm -hmm. but he lays back in the cut and almost lets the beat ride over him. Yeah. But yeah. it's just he gets his point across. And West Side Gun just comes on, like he'll come on and do a little one, two ad lib. Boom, and boom, just, boom, 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 boom. And just add, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and just add his little taste to the shit. And, it, and it, it, it just bubbles my blood, man. And the first time I ever heard anything by West Side Gun yeah. was because of Sky Zoo. And oh, Sky word. Zoo had a track on his album called um, Music For My Friends. Mm -hmm. And that became one of my favorite albums. Mm -hmm. And West Side Gun just did a little hook on there. He just did the hook. Yeah, he did the hook. And then the video came out and I saw a visual... And the voice matched the, the face. And then as soon that as That doesn't I, always happen It either. doesn't. And it doesn't. <laughs> but then as soon as I typed in YouTube, I typed in West Side Gun. And Conway's fucking catalog was introduced to me. You mm -hmm. know, it pops up like recommended for you and yeah, shit. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. That was a two, three o'clock in the morning listening session for wow. me, man. Because I appreciate good music, whether it's rock and roll, hip hop. R&B, whatever, disco, no oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just Nigga, kidding, lying. just this kidding. Is no, but doing alternative the fucking robot. Yeah, yeah. Not disco so much, but I'm talking like if it's good music, I'm gonna appreciate it. But so, these you, guys put out some good fucking. So what, music, what do you what do you man. think about the signing to Shady? See that that's the point where is um, this a bad thing? It's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's a, maybe it's, not for them. No, it's not. I mean, that's definitely gonna help them uh, grow as a brand. And it's definitely going to give them great marketing. What about Slaughterhouse, man? Um, they fucked up the first Slaughterhouse Yeah, the first album. Slaughterhouse album was absolutely horrible. Yeah, they fucked that right up. I'm How are you going to have some of my favorite MCs in a group and then fuck it up? You know I, what I mean? This is what I'm saying. Like, do you think that they would learn? Because the thing about it is, is like when you looked at Slaughterhouse's music prior to that album, mm -hmm. and then you, again, you know, same kind of comparison with um, uh, uh, Conway West Side Gun. Not the same kind of music, but grimy and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And you look at what Shady did with their first album. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're gonna try to do that? I don't even think you can. I don't even think you could see. You could make Conway and Westside sound clean and rap some happy shit. I don't think you could do it. <laughs> I, I, don't I would. Think you I, can. I would hope not. But you gotta understand, man. Like even when Mob Deep did that whole signing, when they left. And they went over to the other side. What, the G-Unit? Yeah, like that, that was, was the worst, worst thing move. Ever. But think, but that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Think about that and then think about Conway and Westside signing that's to the, a major. Because when people, ranking, when yeah. people say, oh my God, hand clap to them, they signed to Shady Aftermath. They're actually signing to Interscope. Yep. They're not signing just to Shady. No. So the umbrella of Interscope and who Interscope is actually owned by. Because Interscope is just a label inside of another entity. Absolutely. Interscope is not the full umbrella. So people tend to not understand the concept of a label. Mm -hmm. There's always distribution and there's always a hierarchy and where that level comes yeah there's from. other shit that yeah the funding and the, yeah. the, the funding and the money doesn't necessarily just come from interscope there's a higher person oh, absolutely above interscope so when we think about interscope and we think about shady aftermath and then we think about like 
uh, Death Row and all those other labels that have been out there, they all get money from somewhere and there's somebody pushing the button saying, you got to make your music this way and clean it up. Well, what I'm saying is I hope they don't do that. I think that will hurt their brand. But it will happen. Look what happened with Mob Deep. When Mob Deep but signed. But that hurt when Mo- their brand. But that's what I'm saying and I don't support it. Not to take anything away from Shady Aftermath, Eminem, and his camp. Nigga, you got to take it away from No, them. but I'm saying Eminem... You, you, you got, they, Eminem is in his own lane. Eminem as an artist and, uh, and as an entrepreneur is in his own lane. But to take two street niggas who you don't really know... Uh, well, I don't know their relationship, but if the, he doesn't really know anything about them as artists and mm-hmm. as musicians and the type of sound they're looking for, how are you going to bring them into a label that might not be the best fit for them? If it's a money thing, I get it. But if it's a from an artistry thing, no, and it can't be. The point that can't he's gonna be. have, he's gonna allow them to work with producers that they want to work gotta, with. You, you know, you you know what they they gotta do. They gotta say, yo, here's the bag. We just signed you. Here's the bag. Here's your recording budget, mm-hmm. video budget, blah 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 blah, mm-hmm. and do your thing. Just submit it to us. Yeah, and you but know if, what I'm saying. But is that but okay? But if you're gonna sign to a major label like that. Interscope, Shady Aftermath, and you're going to want to put out a catalog of music that's not going to move units, you're going to get dropped in a year? But what and then I'm you're try- back to but, being independent? Uh, what then what's try- the point okay, of even what, being what, on what, what I'm trying to say, though, is I think what got the attention of Shady anyways is the type of music that they're doing. And not just Shady, not just Eminem. People fuck with Kanye, sorry, Conway and yeah. West Side Gun because of the shit that they're doing. Yeah, but people but they f- go left... That shit ain't that's gonna tank anyway. And they will go left because it happened with Slaughterhouse and people to this day so still basically, talk about basically the first these niggas, So basically album. these niggas are stupid dead. And when I no, say no, 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 no
they Jules. all had success off of this album. They all ate. Yeah. But when that album came out, I was excited. And then when I listened to it, it for shit. the first time, I was so disappointed. And if that happens with these two, I don't think it's it going to hurt their credibility. I don't think it will. I think it I will tank. I don't think it will. I, I think it's going to fucking tank. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. It's because once, think about this, man. Even with Nas, Nas went through the hardest fucking time with producers. Everybody knows Nas is one of the top lyricists. He's in my top five. Nigga can't pick a beat for shit. But that's the problem. He's in my top five. Mm -hmm. But listen to after it was written when I Am came out and then Stomatic came out. All those albums had maybe three good songs on each album. You don't like mm -hmm. I Am? I like I Am, but I like I Am for other reasons. I don't like I Am necessarily because of the production. I like It Was Written and I Am falls off production-wise because Trackmasters was introduced at that time. Trackmasters took over production. so After the It Was Written. Right. Yeah. It Was Written had a mixture of producers. Like He had a lot of Mob Deep influences on there. If you really listen back to the second Nas, there's a lot of Mob Deep influence, like Havoc on production. Yeah, yeah. Those heavy bass lines and drum kicks. Yeah. And that's yeah, when... No, you're, and Timberland, that, and Timberland that, was on I Am. Yeah, Timberland yeah, yeah. Am, yeah. Um, but then, then you got to think when um, that whole Timberland beats fucking those double kick drums and those, you know, that was introduced when Missy was brought out and Genuine was brought out and all mm -hmm. that shit. Mm -hmm. So that sound was really popping at that time. Right now, people aren't really fucking with the underground shit. So Eminem has his own followers. Eminem is about not just making music, but he's about making money, right? Because if he's going to sign somebody to a label, you got to produce records, you got to produce numbers, right? Yeah. So... People who buy underground music don't necessarily walk into a record store and buy fucking CDs. They, they dig crates. They look for the shit. Of course. So if they put out an album that's produced by in-house producers that M fucks with, or if M's doing the production, I'm not the biggest fan of Eminem's production. Nah. Eminem produ some good beats, Eminem, but Eminem's not, produced for Nas. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember if it was on the Godson album he produced a, a it was song for, for It was Nas. on Godson. Uh, I, th that cross yeah, record or something like that. I did like not that. fucking like that. You didn't like that? I thought that was all right, man. With that dang dang. Yeah. Dang dang. You didn't like that? Dang dang. Well, yeah, like, his, his beats do sound very similar. I know when Eminem's it, on the production. Of course. It's like when yeah. you, you know when it's a fucking nerd Neptune's track. You yeah. know when it's a Will I Am song. And that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I, I think, don't. I, I think, necessarily can't take this shit seriously because, like I said before, I'm a huge underground hip hop supporter. I grew up around DJs and mixtape motherfuckers who introduced me to a lot of music. Mm -hmm. And for me, when I see two underground artists like that who are not on major distribution and they're able to push out mixtapes and they're able to put out music that's true hearted and it's from them and yeah. it's sincere. Yeah. Once you take away that sincerity and you take away that heartfelt music and you start putting, you know what? You guys got to put out an album I just within the don't next six think months. That's going to happen. But you can say that. But did you think that about Slaughterhouse too? Of course not. But did you think? Did you say, think by Slaughterhouse getting signed to that label with Eminem that the first album was going to be a fucking phenomenal album? Of course I did. But then you were disappointed. Of course, and I that's was. exactly how I feel. So right this now. is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I have faith that Eminem will do the right thing. I don't. That's what I'm saying. And we're going to leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. Okay? It's going to be a disaster. No, I think... Okay, listen. Let's revisit you guys, that. Yeah, we will. When the but, first but you guys in the comments... Yeah. You guys in the comments, let me know what you think the um, uh, West Side Gun and the um, uh, Conway album is going to sound like. Let me know if you think it's going to be successful yep. or let me know if you think Eminem is going to fuck the whole thing up. I think it's going to get fucked up. I think it will be all right. If they're going to release separate albums or as a collective, no, a, as a, collective, a duo, a collective, if they're doing an album together, yes, it's going to get fucked up. 